What's up guys, it's Monday morning and I've got a handful of eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First thing shipping out is this lot of Bratz dolls and accessories. I think there were maybe three or four dolls and then a ton of accessories. I really had a hard time finding values on these, so I decided to do an auction. I did two different auctions, and just because there were so many different pieces, I started them both at a dollar. This lot sold for $46 plus shipping, and the other lot sold for about the same price, but I'm still waiting on the buyer to pay. Keep an eye out for Brad's dolls. It seems like they're getting more and more popular. This is like the sixth or seventh different lot I've sold, and I always do really well with them. All right, next order is two different things. We've got... Let's see, this is the Lone Ranger Lego set, but it was incomplete. It had the train and some other pieces, but it was missing the minifigures, missing some other stuff. That sold for $50, free shipping, and I gave them free shipping because they got another piece. Let's see, the other piece is C5. It is also Lego. This is like a ghost train, Monster Heights. This one was mostly complete. It was missing, missing a few things. So I made sure I put incomplete for both of them and took lots of pictures so that they knew what was included. This was $48 plus shipping. So this one they bought, they paid shipping, and they're like, hey, will you combine shipping on the other one? I said, yeah. So to make it easier, I just changed this to free shipping because I don't think it's really going to cost uh, much more to ship this in addition to this for like what they already paid. I just picked up a ton of Lego stuff and I knew a lot of it was incomplete. So what I did and what I've done before is like, I just take lots of pictures. I put incomplete and I usually just turn on best offers and you can usually still get some pretty good money for the stuff, especially trains. It seems like the Lego trains have been doing really, really well for me. So keep an eye out for Lego trains, even if they're out of box. Next thing going out is a Spice Girls poster. This was in that big lot of posters I got from the Mojo Casher crew. So I only have a few bucks into this, sold it for $25 plus shipping. All right, next we're coming up here to B1. Sold this old phone. You know what? I'm going to have to put this camera down to pull this thing down here. This is an antique hand crank wall phone by Kellogg. Really cool piece. It's not too often that I find these that are actually antique because there's a lot of reproductions of these, but this is a genuine antique one and it has the motor with it. I didn't know how to reinstall it, so I just took pictures and said, like, look, the motor's attached. You can open this thing back up and put it back together. Uh, I had it listed for $200. If your name is Zach, sent me an offer of $150 plus shipping. So I went ahead and accepted that. Zach, thank you so much for the support and hope you get this thing uh, back together and working because that is a really cool piece. Next thing, we're coming up here to B21. I sold this Star Trek Pez. New in the packaging for $18.99, free shipping. All right, next coming to B41, I sold this 1987 official Nintendo Player's Guide. Really cool booklet. Got this in a bulk buy. I've maybe got a few bucks into it. This originally came with some stickers, like some Mario stickers and some other stickers. And if it has the stickers, it's worth about 50 or 60. But as it was, I went ahead and listed it for $29.99, free shipping, and it sold. Next, I'm coming down to C61. I sold a dinosaur mask. This is really cool. I think this is called the Endoraptor. This is part of that big toy buy I made. I maybe got five bucks into this, probably less. It's because I got so many toys in that buy. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. The last thing going out today is a doozy. This is a vending machine. I got a handful of these from a buddy of mine for like $25, $50 bucks a piece. One of them I actually kept. I think I've maybe shown it in a video, but I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. And the other ones I'm selling. So you can see the bases here, and then this, these top pieces are separate, and I've got the other ones in my trailer. I had to get some keys made for them, so that costs about five bucks a piece. I sold this for $120 plus shipping. Buyer paid over $100 to ship this thing. And what I'm gonna do is a box of this piece and that piece separately. It's gonna be two different boxes just because of the weight and the size and everything. Two different boxes is going to be the way to go, so I will show you guys how I unpack this thing. This is the one I kept for myself. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was a kid, they had these in card stores. Sometimes they'd have stickers, sometimes they'd have cards. Uh, what I did is I put some Cincinnati players in this row, stickers in this row, and then like some of the star players in this row. And anytime my kids come, they always have to get a sticker or cards or something. You put the coins in, you push it, and then out comes this little 
cardboard fold thing, and you've got some stickers in there. Pretty cool. I loved having these in my card shop when I was a kid because I would go to the card shop all the time. So just a really cool throwback, and the kids always enjoy it when they're here. All right, first step, I've got some bubble wrap. I'm going to bubble wrap this thing up really good, and I'll put it in the box. All right, I've got, I don't know, five, six inches of a gap here. So I'm going to pull this back out, put some packing paper at the bottom, and then I'll put some more packing paper all around the edges and the top too, and then we'll close this thing off. All right, we are good to go. I'm going to give you guys a quick tip. Whenever you're putting packing paper into something, you want to overfill it. You want so much packing paper coming out of here that you kind of have to push the paper down so that there's no gap whatsoever. Um, that's just going to really help you avoid any kind of damage in transit to the item. All right, for the second piece, I'm going to go ahead and take out the key. I'm going to put it in a little baggie and probably just use some painter's tape to attach it. And then I'm going to put some bubble wrap and maybe like some cardboard around the ends of these just to help protect them inside the box. Then I'll bubble wrap the whole thing and put a whole bunch of packing paper in this box right here. Get it shipped out. All right, it is all wrapped up. And once again, we got a lot of space. So I'm going to be putting a ton of packing paper in there. I could resize the box, but honestly, I'd only be saving, I don't know, like a couple inches. So I just assume fill it with packing paper and make sure it is uh, really, really secure in there. All boxed up, ready to go, and I will message the buyer letting them know that it's going to be two packages showing up. It is Tuesday morning. i got about 10 packages going out, so we're going to get right to it. First thing is this Ninjago or Ninjago Lego. I've never known how to pronounce this thing. I got this from my buddy Luke last week as part of that bulk buy, so I've maybe got about, I don't know, five bucks into it at most. It had a little bit of box damage, which hurt, hurt the value a tiny bit, but it's still sold for $34.99 free shipping, and it is sealed in the box. All right, next thing, we're coming down here to A61, and I sold this Ryobi battery charger. I got this at that liquidation bins place I went with Tony a week or two ago. I paid $3 for it. It sold for $24.99 free shipping. It will go in a padded flat rate. So after shipping, eBay fees, all that, I think I'm going to clear about, I don't know, 12 bucks profit, something like that, which isn't a ton, but it only took a couple minutes to uh, list, and it's only going to take a couple minutes to ship. Next, I'm coming to C51. I sold a few games out of here. First one I sold is... Mortal Kombat Deception. Let's see. I know it's in here somewhere. Here it is for PS2. This sold for $13.99 free shipping. Once again, not a ton of profit on this one. Um, I'd say probably seven or eight dollars profit after shipping and fees because I don't have much into it. Uh, but just like the last item, it only took me a couple minutes to list and it's only gonna take me like 30 seconds to pack. So with these cheaper items, you just have to figure out for yourself kind of what your threshold is. Uh, the time you're going to invest, how fast you think it's going to sell, how long it's going to take to pack, everything like that. Generally speaking, I shoot for $20 and up for my average, for like a minimum price that I list things. But video games are the rare exception that I'll list it a little bit cheaper just because I know it's going to be some easy money to be made. Next game we're pulling out of here is Dynasty Warriors. Uh, for PS2, this is Dynasty Warriors 4. This sold for $14.99 free shipping. Next game is Mortal Kombat Armageddon for PS2. This one sold for $19.99 free shipping. Correction, this only sold for $15.99 free shipping. Next, we're coming to B41. This sold this GameCube game, Lego Star Wars 2. This sold for $15.99 free shipping. Next, we're coming to A52. I sold Need for Speed Underground for the GameCube. And just like the last two games, it sold for $15.99 free shipping. Seems to be a common price today. All right, we're going back to B51. I sold this Furnace Igniter. Just some of the random stuff that I find in these buys. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing going out are these legs for a sleep number bed. There are a total of 12 of them. I got them at the thrift store for $4.00. And I took a best offer of $90 plus shipping. So definitely keep an eye out for these guys. They don't say sleep number anywhere on them. Uh, but there's usually a code on the bottom and they just have a funky look to them. So they will definitely stand out. Okay, next thing going out is right here on the A5 shelf. I decided to lot up these little Disney Tsum Tsums or whatever these things are called. I'm not really sure. Got them in that buy from Luke. And they don't have a ton of value on their own. That's why I lotted them up. 
There are, I think, about 20 of them in here. Uh, I took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. Next, we're coming to C42. Let's see, it is right back here. This is the GameCube that I got from Luke in that buy. Unfortunately, it did not work, so I had to sell it as is. Still sold for $29, free shipping. Next, we're coming to C31. I sold this little Tiger Pokemon camera that I got from Luke in that big buy. I've got maybe $5 into this thing. I wasn't able to test it because it takes actual film. So I had to sell it untested. Still sold for $30 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.